we need a new club structure in Scotland because part of our our structure is part-time professional and part of it is wholly amateur and we've never really come to terms with a governance structure that allows both of those to exist uh, properly together. It's a halfway house that pleases nobody. It's going to house the best part-time professional players all in six franchises across Scotland. So we're going to have a better playing environment for these players, playing on a higher standard, and they're going to come under our high performance function and come out of our domestic rugby orbit. So they're going to get better nutrition, better strength and conditioning, better physio, and obviously our head coaches will come from our professional programmes as well. So they're going to be in a hugely beneficial environment that allow them to be the best they possibly can. I was delighted. I think uh, we answered as many questions as we possibly could at this stage around the bid process and around what's going to happen with the new structure. Uh, there were one or two questions that were positive and we answered those. And I was delighted by the reception that the, the new proposals uh, received. Today's settlement is for the whole of Scottish rugby, not just for the top tier. So underneath the Super 6, we're going to launch the new championship, which is going to be the new pinnacle of the Scottish game. Again, a 12-team amateur league, and then reconstitute three national leagues below that, all of whom are allowed to have promotion and relegation, apart from the championship itself, which won't get promoted into the Super 6. But it's going to make sure that we only pay amateur players in this part of Scottish rugby. That allows uh, clubs to redirect their fin finances into areas which creates a sustainable club and also make sure that the, the, the club itself can exist in, inside the community and not waste money on paying people to pay the game who are never going to make it as professionals.